Hello, hello. I just thought of an exercise that might be fun. We're going to load up chat GDP and we're going to see, we're going to ask it some questions about discus because you know I'm not a professional but it's an AI with access to the entire internet so let's, let's have some fun we're loading it up here let's ask it a question sounds like you're in the middle of something what's getting loaded up I'd like to ask you a question about growing discus from young babies to adults, uh, how long it takes, um, and what happens when you don't feed them properly and their skeleton doesn't develop and they stunt. Raising discus fish from babies to adults can take some time, usually about a year or more. The growth rate depends on factors like water quality, tank size, and most importantly, diet. If you don't feed them properly, their growth can be stunted. When their skeletons don't develop properly due to the inadequate nutrition, they might end up with deformations and their health can suffer. This can also shorten their lifespan and make them more prone to diseases. Proper care and a balanced diet are essential for healthy growth. Have you started raising discus fish or are you thinking about it? Yes, I'm raising discus fish. What about white cloudy water? Would that have an effect on their growth? White cloudy water can be a sign of a few different things, like a bacterial bloom, overfeeding, or a lack of proper filtration. It can be bad for your discus fish because it often means there's an imbalance in the tank, which can affect water quality. Poor water quality can stress the fish, making them more prone to illness and affecting their growth. If you've got cloudy water, it's best to test your water parameters to check for issues like ammonia or nitrite levels and consider a water change or better filtration. How's your tank set up? Do you have plants, a good filter, and regular water testing? Yes, I have all of that. Another question. Uh, how many months can a, dis a young discus be neglected before it's permanently stunted? And what size does stunting typically limit a discus? Two. Stunting and discus can happen relatively quickly if they're not getting proper care, especially if they're critical growths in the first six weeks. There's like insufficient diet, poor water quality, or overcrowding can contribute to stunting. If a young discus is neglected for a few months, it's likely that its growth will be permanently affected. Stunted discus often don't grow much beyond 3 to 4 inches in diameter, whereas healthy adult discus can reach 6 to 8 inches or more. The severity of stunting depends on how extreme the neglect was and for how long it lasted. Is this something you've encountered, or are you trying to avoid it with your current setup? I'm trying to avoid it. How often should I feed my discus every day to avoid this kind of stunting? To avoid stunting, you should feed your young discus fish several times a day. For juveniles, feeding three to five times daily is common practice, while adults typically require one to three feedings a day. Make sure to offer a balanced diet, including high protein foods like bloodworms, shrimp, and high quality discus pellets or flakes. It's important to watch out for over... Well... Ensuring they eat most of the food within... Does your feeding schedule, or do you... Okay, so... Chat GDP's a little laggy today, but we heard what we needed to hear. Um, yeah, yeah. And that should answer a couple other questions I've had without me answering them and sounding biased. There it is, straight from straight from the AI's mouth. Is the AI correct? I don't know, but he's got the whole internet in his head, and I certainly don't. So, um, but you'll see, I, I think what I heard him say is basically being very consistent with, with, with what I've been saying about this, you know, first initial growth, growth period. Um, and uh, 
what happens if you, uh, if you slack off. The fish get stuck. You lose time, they get stuck. So, um, anyhow, that'll be it for my videos today. And I, I uh, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.